Guys, uh, in this video, we want to look at tetracyclines. Now, in tetracyclines, uh, the main thing you will look at is doxycycline. Okay. Now, these are antibiotics, broad spectrum. This They are called as tetracycline because their structure is something like this. One, two, three, four. Four cycles. Okay. And uh, first, let us look at what we know about these. It is made from actinomycetes. So, it is... Um, kind of it is oh, what am i saying it is natural broad spectrum it is bacteriostatic protein synthesis inhibition it will do this much you already know from the previous videos examples are um, oxytetracycline doxycycline minocycline demiclocycline demi demiclocycline so what are we studying today Today we are studying tetracyclines. These are antibiotics. They are broad spectrum antibiotics. Then examples are oxytetracycline, doxycycline, minocycline and demiclocycline. They are bacteriostatic. Static? Are they bacteriostatic or side? Yeah, they are bacteriostatic. Oh, they are only bacteriostatic. Okay, okay. They are bacteriostatic. What and all should we study under tetracyclines? Mechanism of action, not very detailed. It's not required according to the exam structure. Tetracyclines actually, they enter by active transport. They can enter by active transport. So, energy, uh, it's an energy consuming process. They inhibit protein synthesis by binding to 30S ribosome. So, see, tRNA has to bind here, right? This place is not available for it to bind. So, when tRNA cannot bind, protein elongation cannot happen. So, it binds to 30S ribosome, interferes with binding of tRNA to acceptor site, peptide chain fails to grow, it is bacteriostatic. This much is enough for mechanism of action guys. Move on. What else we have to cover? Main things that we have to cover are the uses of tetracycline. Advantages of doxycycline over oxytetracycline. The side effects of tetracycline. This much if we cover, we are done. Let us continue in the next video for the uses of tetracyclines. Okay.